A complete replacement for women or uh, the second byline, successful women have nothing to offer men. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Let's try and get 1,000 likes on this video in two days. 1,000 likes in two days. And watch the whole video because there's a doozy at the end. Some women are smart. Some women are knowledgeable. But some women are wise. In this age of the constant barrage of trying to uplift women and promote women and telling women they can be the CEO of the company, the wise women grab their lipstick, put it in their pocketbook, and politely excuse themselves from the meeting. Where are they going? Why are they leaving? If you were to stop one and ask why they left, they'd say, that's just not for me. They might even say, don't get me wrong, I'm all for this girl power stuff. But just to talk about it and make women feel good, any woman worth a damn wouldn't say stay for the union dues on the sign-up sheets. And she has a point. As the rise of women over men has been accomplished, as women have become a full one-third of the CEO positions, as women have made more money than men, so too has the rise and misery started. The same women writing fantastic articles about the sisterhood, the same women writing fantastic articles about girl power, the same women writing fantastic articles of unlimited wealth, are now being asked to write articles of, why can't I get a man? But it seems all the smart and independent women didn't have a problem getting a man when they weren't as smart and weren't as independent. None more so than black women, whom the level of complete rejection has fallen on their heads a hundred times over. It's one thing for the majority population to of white people to complain about how their rich husbands weren't paying them attention. But it's considered treason for a black woman to set her eyes on a black man and claim the same thing. And the punishment is complete group banishment by mom, dad, grandma, aunts, uncles, everybody. Both black men and black women will not tolerate those black women siding with what amounts to the enemy against black men, the most put upon group in the entire nation. While it takes a white woman to be wise to tell the delusional wannabe oppression Olympic white woman team to shut up, the average black woman can tell another black woman to have a seat and look what at what their men are going through at the hands of the very same rich white women that pretend to be their friends come election time. The wise woman will tell you all of that yelling, all of that training, all of that so-called money, which amounts to nothing, if when you hit 40, you don't have a kid, haven't had a husband for 15 years already, because 40 more years of being alive and alone is a heck of a cross to bear. To bear. One woman was bragging, and I mean bragging, that she woke up at 4 a.m. with her husband, made him breakfast, set his clothes out, made all the lunches for him and the kids, and the women of Australia became unglued. They couldn't hurl inserts, insults enough at her. Meanwhile, the very women hurling insults uh, had no one, no one, not a single soul at their house. Finally, a news anchor in Australia said, maybe, just maybe, she likes her husband. Bring the same story, type of story over to uh, Facebook. A young woman here in Texas said she couldn't wait for the day she'd be washing her husband's clothes. Each day he came home from work, cook him dinner, rub his feet. She was shredded for daring to say such a thing. The women of Facebook just weren't having it. It was only the pretend conservative women of Fox News that interviewed her and told her that it was all right to say that with here, here's the numbers ready with 50 percent of the women who are unmarried now with 60 percent without kids the white population almost to the point of no return in extinction hello we've been trying to tell you and keeping the population going they are still insulting the alarmist warning them that the year 2060 or it's a 2100 is the point of no return is closer than you think. And what does that mean? That means 
in the year is it's either 2060 or who whoever you listen to or 2100 there will not be enough white people alive to have enough children to keep white people going on into the future will not be enough white people alive why because of the trend of not having children in the white population africa's booming asia's asia's okay latin america's okay I don't know anything about Native American or anything like that. But I do know Africa's booming. And when I say booming, Nigeria, the richest country in Africa, has a fertility rate of eight. On average, a woman in Nigeria, which is full of money, has eight children. And when I say full of money, I mean they're the richest nation in Africa. They're not United States rich. But then again, Nigeria isn't the size of the United States. That's probably the, the biggest problem there. So they just don't have the uh, the area to even have the population to even uh, be compared to the United States. But it's the richest nation in Africa. And yes, they have oil and they export all of their Nollywood or Hollywood or Nigeria Hollywood as you, as you would uh, uh, know it to be. So yeah, they have money there. They have plenty of money. Those are the ones who scam you on the, <laughs> on the internet. They have the internet. They've got they've got the latest cell phones. They got the latest uh, Nigeria Nikes or whatever you want to. They've got the Nigeria cars. I, I know they keep promoting Africa to be this backwater area, but uh, not Nigeria. At the end of the day, the government or a man has to take care of a woman. Even a rich woman can go through her riches, taking care of herself and needs others at the end of the day. Most modern technology has made, was made just for that, to take care of a woman. A good 60% of all inventions were made to take care of women or to make their lives easier. Refrigerator, stove, vacuums, what was it in the 50s they just kept introducing stuff hey here you go your 12 hour day has now been reduced to one hour to take care of the house i don't think farm farm wives uh were a, were ever able to reduce their lives that by that much but the city wives were they had time to gossip by the fence water the lawn chit chat uh go visit each other have lemonade and tea go shopping every day now with women insanely rejecting men inventions are now turning to replacing women all together automatic sweepers automatic vacuums automatic windshield wipers automatic cooking automatic dishwashers automatic sewing in fact i just saw a new invention that literally replaces a woman completely i cannot for the life of me remember it I saw a demonstration of it and a woman was demonstrating it and the woman doing the demonstration got upset, got emotional because she literally said, this means that I will have absolutely nothing to do. Now, I don't know what type of woman she was. I don't know if she's a conservative woman and she's a, um, you know, a housewife or anything like I don't know what type, but she was emotional she got emotional demonstrating the item i cannot for the life of me think of this but i have a migraine right now uh and uh i can't really think straight i don't i'm sitting here in the dark i can't really think straight even the light coming from the computers is uh hurting me just the sheer lights just from the computer you know if you uh buy me a soda uh, pop pop me uh five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars for some soda paypal.me slash a comma um, I might be able to think of it, and I'm being serious. I'm being serious that there's a new invention that just came out. They were just demonstrating it, and I'm being serious that there was a woman dem doing the demonstration that, you know, the guy gave it to her and says, here you go. Dem it's so easy here. Go ahead and demonstrate it. And the woman demonstrated it and felt some kind of way while she was doing the demonstration. She got emotional, like she kept stopping, and the inventor kept saying, go on, keep going. What are you doing? It would replace women altogether. I'm not talking about bedroom. I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm talking about replace women 
all together. And when I say replace women, I mean all of the chores in a house. At the end of the day, although it's no longer needed, and men do their own chores, and in fact, with, with the millennial generation, men are now doing more chores, chores in the house than women. Hello? And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. That goes back to the title of the thing that uh, the successful woman is of no use to a man. A woman's riches is of no use to a man. Not only is it of no use to a man, it eliminates 99% of the population of men for the woman herself. So her getting riches eliminates 90% of the men she would be interested in. Why? Because she's richer than they are. And it's something like number two or number three. Uh, I think it's maybe, maybe number four. Financial, but financial meaning that the man doesn't make as much as a woman. So now we've come full circle to money being a problem in the cause of divorce because he did not make enough for the woman to the point where she made too much for the marriage so that the gender roles were reversed. And she didn't like that. She wanted to be taken care of because that is in the nature of a woman. You can, you can deny it all you want to. You can get on your social justice warrior soapbox all you want to. You can get on your feminist soapbox too, who all have their own personal lives of what they do with men. Hello. But it's something like number four, number four cause of divorce that the woman makes more money than a man and that's the real reason that they're getting divorced nothing else number four and it kind of co coincides with number one number one being i want to be independent well why do you want to be independent if you're married well she wants to be independent because she she has enough money that she can be independent that she can tra travel around the world she makes so much money that she can go on her own vacations by herself she probably can't afford a family but she can go by herself Number one, want to be independent. Number four, financial. And from my reading of it, uh, the financial is that the woman makes more money than the man. Now, there's an invention that completely replaces women. I'm trying to, th I'm trying to think of it. I just cannot think of it. Uh, when you make a donation, there's a little area you could leave a comment. I love for you to comment if when you make a donation. Thank you so much for listening. Let's. Have a let's have a good thing. Uh, make sure you tell everybody to uh, to watch and uh, subscribe and comment too. Thank you.